What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy. Some, some, some. Hit the keys. Here today to do a quick review and demonstration over Modern U by VI Labs. You may be asking, what is Modern U? It is an upright piano that is sampled from a Yamaha U3 Studio upright piano. Um, it's a very solid little upright piano. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell so every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. But let's go ahead and get right into this review. Some, some, some hit the key. All right, guys. So, real quick story time. So, I was supposed to do a review on this plugin well over a year ago, but for whatever reason, UVI player wouldn't work with my old laptop. Maybe because it was Windows 8.1. I don't know. Um, but I was going through my iLock today and I seen that I still had this plugin in my iLock. And I thought to myself, man, I owe them a review. So, let me go ahead and crack this thing open and check it out. And when I tell y'all I wasn't disappointed, I was not disappointed. Uh, when you open up the plugin, it is going to look like this. So as you see, you will need UVI workstation in order to use this plugin, um, but you have all kinds of different controls. So you have everything from release volume, the key noise, the strike, um, sympathetic resonance, um, polyphony, um, pedal residence, pedal noise, true pedal action, repedal, repetition strikes. You get a bunch of different mics. So you can, you get six different mics um, and you can, it basically the mics are placed in different places. So it gives the piano a different sound. And then you can add three different layers of that mic on there. So that's pretty nice as well. Um, you have stereo width down here. You have tone, you have your timbre, um, sustain pedal. You can control all of that. Um, you can go half pedal, soft pedal, all this stuff down here. It's got reverb. And then another thing that's nice is that the UVI player has a ton of different effects. So, you know, you can come over here, add an effect. And then as you can see, there is just a bunch of different, you know, bunch of different effects as you go through it. You just see there's a ton of them. I mean, it's got everything you want. It's even got vinyl effects. I mean, it's got everything that you want here. Um, so let's go ahead and go back to the main screen. And there's an arpeggiator as well. Um, so we're going to go ahead and come back to this main screen. I want to mention one more thing real quick that there is, I think, 37 different um, reverbs. So there's different 37 different IR responses, um, which makes for, you know, obviously more fun when you're playing with the piano. Um, so I made a little sample beat as always. I'm going to go ahead and run the beat and then we're going to go ahead and get right into some of the piano sounds, some of the stuff that you get from it. Um, so the beat sounds like this. All right, guys, so that's a little beat that I put together for you guys today. As always, it's not all the way mixed down, um, but let's go ahead and hop right back into um, to Modern U. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pull it up right here. I'm going to go ahead and go to um, a couple of different MIDI's that I have put up already here. Um, as you can see, I don't have my MIDI keyboard here. I'm having an issue with another computer. I don't really want to talk about it. Y'all aren't really here for it, but I do have some MIDI's um, so that you can hear what this piano sounds like. Um, so this piano by itself sounds like this. So in my opinion, this piano was perfect for like a lo-fi jazz. I mean, you could use it for boom bap. You can really use it for trap nowadays. You could probably use it for anything. Um, but when you look here, there's a bunch of different presets. Um, so you can go through some of these different presets and it gives you 
different effects on the piano to make it sound different. It is the same piano, but it's just different effects to make it sound different. So let's go ahead and start with this cheap AM radio and the, you know, spirit of a lo-fi. Um, one thing you're going to want to look at as well is you're always going to want to look here at this menu because it does take a moment to load some of the samples because, you know, it's um, a well sampled machine. So it just takes a moment. So to me, this thing sounds beautiful. Um, we'll go through a few more um, just so that you can hear just some different, you know, presets. And so as you look down here, as you can see, it's loading. So it's basically loading the mic uh, in the mic position. And then you can see over here, here is actually the mic position. So you have a mic up here, you have mic over here, uh, so on and so forth. Um, then you have some mics right here as well. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back to the default piano um, and we're just gonna go ahead and go to a different pattern real quick. Um, and so basically with this, um, you can hear different things. So like, you know, you can turn up your key noise if you want to. So if you listen real closely, you can definitely hear that key noise as it's, you know, as you, it's simulating your keystrokes. so we can give it a more realistic feel. Um, you can mess with the strike as well. All right, so now let's go over here and check out some of the different mics. Um, so right now it's got it on the close mic setting, so listen to it again. So now let's say I switch up to a different mic. So let's go ahead and hit this uh, player. Now listen. So it just gives it a different sound. We'll go ahead and hit this room C414. So as you can see, it's just giving it a different sound. What's nice as well is like, let's say I wanted to come back over here to close um, and then I wanted to add some more different mics. So let's go ahead and turn this on real quick. Boom, bam. So now we can, um, you know, let's we'll go ahead and turn on three different mics. So we'll hit this button right here. And now we have uh, three different mics on. So now let's listen. So you can hear the difference between um, the one mic to three mics. You hear how it just sounds so much fuller. And you can adjust the level of the mics as well. So that's a nice feature. Obviously, I don't have a pedal hooked up right now, so we're not going to go through all the pedal features. Uh, but what I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and switch over to another pattern. Um, let's mess with some of this reverb so you can hear what some of this reverb sounds like. Um, I'm also going to mess with some of this timbre as well. Actually, let me go ahead and go through the timbre first. So with the timbre, um, again, I don't have my keyboard, so I can only play notes on uh, my computer. All right, so now let's go ahead and turn this timbre down. Let's go ahead and just, I don't know, we'll go ahead and go to nine. So now listen to it. All right, so now let's go ahead and throw some reverb on this thing. Um, so let's turn the reverb on. So it's been dry this whole time. Um, so that's what it sounds like dry. So it sounds pretty good dry, but we can throw a little bit of reverb on here um, and listen to it. So 
so that sounds pretty good. Um, and then there's a ton of different reverbs. So um, let's go ahead and change it up and get a different reverb. So you can go with big space, you can go a nice hall. So that sounds lovely. Let's go ahead and hear what it sounds like on this pattern. So that's the difference between with the timbre down and the timbre off. Let's go ahead and listen to a few different reverbs real quick, because again, there's a whole bunch of them. So that just sounds super fire. Um, you can turn on some more of these stuff down here. So like your muted strikes and your half pedal and all that stuff. Um, obviously again, I don't have a pedal here, so I can't demonstrate that for you. So absolutely phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal in my personal opinion. Obviously I'm not a pianist, but for me, I feel like this piano, it sounds wonderful. Um, so let's go ahead and listen to a few more things. I'm gonna go ahead and just go through some of these, uh, this art real quick. And in case you are looking at UVI Workstation, they do have um, a bunch of free sounds as well. So you can download UVI Workstation. Modern U is just a plugin that works in UVI uh, Workstation if you're not aware, similar to like a contact library or something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down on the speed a little bit. Um, I'll turn it down to 95. So like, let's say I just hold down uh, some keys. So I'm just gonna hold down these three keys. Um, and now, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then you can also adjust it. So, you know, you got different, you know, legato song modes, you can go up, you can go down, zigzag. I mean, it's got a whole bunch of different arpeggiation features. Um, and so you can also, obviously you can adjust the, And then it's got right here, you can um, change the speed as well. Um, you know, it's got repeat pattern, repeat keys. So it's got a lot there. We're gonna go ahead and enable that though, and we're gonna go over to effects. And so with the effects too, um, there, like I said, there is a ton of different effects um, from filters to modulation to basically whatever you're looking for, um, they got it here. So. Um, let's go ahead and I don't really want to throw a filter on there. Um, let's check out this wall though. So it's kind of aggressive. Turn down the gain a little bit. Turn down the drive a little bit. So that's fire. Um, and then, you know, they just got a whole bunch of different stuff. So, you know, you can go into different delays, reverberations, uh, miscellaneous. They got different kind of um, vinyls over here as well. So, you know, you can go 60s. You, see, you can hear the vinyl already. Um, so let's go ahead and go back over to edit, hit effects real quick. Let's turn this wall off. So again, they got a ton of different effects that you can go through and that you can use um, to do whatever you want. So as you guys can see, 
This is a very, very solid upright piano. Um, it is really pricey though. It is $169. But if you are a jazz player or a church player, you make a lo-fi music, you make money off your beats. This is definitely a solid piano you can use, especially if you're in need of an upright piano or just a solid piano in general to add to your collection. I would definitely recommend it. It is by far far the best upright piano I have in my collection and I have a bunch of upright pianos there is no close second uh, make sure if you guys like this content though you drop a whole elbow on that like button hit subscribe and that notification bell so every time we bring you guys a new video you can be the first to see appreciate you guys this time as always and I'll catch you in the next one peace all right guys and gals thanks for watching the video uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some. Hit the key.